The exhibit is called In and Out, Being LGBTQ on Vashon Island. My name is Stephen Silla, and we are at the Vashon Heritage Museum on Vashon Island, Washington, near Seattle. I am co-curator with Ellen Kritzman. The exhibit has been opening people's eyes to the impact of the LGBTQ community here on the island. The response has been really very good, very good. It was 1989 and then in the early 90s, uh, the come out, come out, wherever you are, coalesced into the Vashon Gay Pride Alliance. The Alliance was active in giving scholarships and in cleaning the road, which gave us an opportunity to have a sign saying Vashon Gay Pride Alliance on the highway and many other activities, including a New Year's Eve party that we've just repeated this past year, very, uh, very well attended and enjoyed. When you come in the door, you see a poem by Don Paulson called The River of Gold. The poem refers to the fact that he thought that LGBT people would not have the same liberties as others do. And so the river of gold is the beautiful queer blood flowing through queer people. And so you kind of follow these uh, little drops of gold on the floor of the museum from the front door through the permanent exhibit of the museum to the closet door. You are invited to go in the closet in order to come out of the closet into the exhibit. So when you go in the closet, it's dark. It's a dark purple, kind of like the womb. It's, uh, there are chains on the wall to represent the oppression of gay people in that time. You hear a soundscape of menacing phrases that of mine. many I'm people heard. Of you. you won't have any friends. You're such a sissy. If I come out, people will bully You're me. Dead to me. You see the suits, the gray suits of people trying to fit in with the rest of society. And then you kind of come into more activist, more colorful clothing. And you begin to see the honeycomb that represents the community in the coming out statements. And then you come out into a rainbow of a timeline where you see the different aspects of uh, queer history, not just on Vashon, but all over the world. And the timeline, instead of going from up to down, is very queer. It goes from down to up. So each one of, the, uh, each one of those categories goes up and you see photographs from queer history. And then you move around into the uh, out on Bashan Island wall and you move from right to left, <laughs> again being a little queer. Designer Jessica Dwyer's concept of the beehive that's the community. You're able to read stories about people who were persecuted because they were perceived to be LGBTQ. You see businesses on the island that have been owned by queer people. You see uh, families and photographs of stories of how it's been to be in the school system. and then you go out into the outdoor part of the exhibit, which is uh, at the AIDS Memorial Garden, where there's another timeline about the AIDS crisis. And pictures and stories of people from the island uh, who were activists, also, there's a wonderful photographer, Dana Scherholz, who lives on Vashon, who covered and was documenting the ACT UP activist movements all over the country, in Seattle, New York, Washington, D.C. 
and so forth. We had uh, our first ever Vashon Island uh, World AIDS Day in 2018 and for that event a bunch of high school students created a ceramic quilt with the names of 12 men who died of AIDS uh, on the island and in the exhibit we also tried to tell some of their stories Then you go into the gender garden where you're invited to plant your own flag on the two continua of male, female, and homosexual, heterosexual. And it's designed by Terry Welch as a kind of Japanese garden. Then you come back in and you get to see the wall of the Queer Spectrum Alliance at Vashon High School. They have been successful in getting gender neutral bathrooms in the Vashon High School, the first in the state. And they've also been working with the uh, health curriculum to try to make it more inclusive. And yet, uh, despite all the progress that we've made, the museum itself got a threatening email from somebody saying, how could you possibly think that LGBT people have anything to do with the history of Vashon Island? We will give you no more money. And we wanted to include that to show that there's still some homophobia on the island. Well, the videos follow some themes, um, why you came to Vashon, uh, how AIDS impacted you and so on. And then there's, uh, there are just little clips. People telling their stories. Finally, one of my very favorite parts of the exhibit are the windows, which were done by Brian Fisher. And the windows treatment, it's called Let's All Dance. He asked his friends to give him the music that they were listening to when they came out and he listened to that music and created the windows with different themes. One of the things we were interested in doing is answering the question of why so many LGBTQ folks came to Vashon and why they stayed. Uh, the census told us that we are rather unique in the state of Washington and I think even beyond that in the proportion of, of households that we have. We were clearly a population that uh, needed to be represented here. And we also were going to take the opportunity, as we have, as many related events in art and music and dances and whatever we could think of, frankly, to both keep the exhibit alive and, as we discovered, um, once again, kind of form a community here on the island. We have been able to really put the LGBTQ community on Vashon in a, in a better light in terms of how we've influenced a lot of the other organizations. For example, this building wouldn't be here if it weren't for two lesbians who uh, were running it as a children's center. And when the children's center went out of business, they made sure that this building didn't get purchased by the fire department as a test burn. It's here because they knew the historical significance of this old Lutheran church and wanted to make sure that it stayed in the community. And in fact, it's been a great spot for our Heritage Museum.
I feel confident, pretty confident that uh, we will continue to move forward. <laughs>